Before we begin this video, I have a special message for my Danish viewers. Here it is. Hej, hvis du er en af mine danske abonnenter, så har du nok opdaget, at der for tiden ikke har været super mange videoer på dansk på den her kanal. Det er fordi, jeg har flyttet dem til en anden kanal, hvor jeg fremover vil lægge mine danske videoer. Så hvis du gerne vil se mig på dansk, et sprog du forstår, så skal du over på den anden kanal, som jeg har et link til lige op i det her hjørne. Og ellers så kan du se det nede i beskrivelsen. Nå, tilbage til videoen. And now back to the actual video in English, where today we are playing GeoGuessr again. Who would have thought from the title? All right, so I have loaded up a map that I've already played and gotten a pretty decent, pretty decent score on, as you can see, but uh, not a perfect score. And so I thought I wanted to test out a hypothesis that, um, or maybe give myself a challenge on the Faroe Islands map, part of Denmark, where, as it says right here, you can, you are never further than five kilometers from the ocean. That's about like three miles. I can, no matter where I start find the exact location uh, that I'm at in five minutes and without moving. That is my hypothesis. That the ch that's the challenge I'm giving myself. Now, as you can see, I haven't even gotten 25,000 points with moving, so it's gonna be a challenge, but I, I'm up for it and I think there's a chance I might be able to do it. If I get good locations where you can always see the water and, you know, use the coastline to pinpoint your exact location. Maybe if I spawn next to or start next to a house, that'll help. If I'm just on a straight road, that's probably not gonna happen. But I'm gonna make this a challenge link so you could play along if you want. And here is the link that I'm gonna send to you. Put it in the description and then you can play along before watching me play. Now, I will say uh, that I actually put a time limit of five seconds, five minutes on each round. So don't come telling me I didn't warn you when uh, you forget to guess and it just places your pin somewhere in Africa. All right, we're starting. Here we go. Fingers crossed we get a good location. And the first location seems to be good. Um, although, could be better. Because we, ooh, it's an explosion outside. It's New Year's Eve, uh, or it's the day of New Year's Eve. Um, so we don't have a coastline, which means which means we don't actually know like which town this might be, but I think I think this is pretty much as populated as it gets on the Faroe Islands, which means we're probably on in the capital city of uh, Torshavn, which I know where it is. Let's zoom in on the Faroe Islands, go to Torshavn. Just assume we're in Torshavn because that's the best we're gonna get. I'm already doubting that I'm gonna get 5,000 points. And let's hope that this compass is at least correct, because I did play a couple rounds before this one where the compass just wasn't correct. And that's no fun. All right. So we are at, there's a larger road up here, I believe, with two roads coming off of it. Like in a zigzag pattern, almost. We're going uphill, down to the south. That's downhill, so that that kind of matches up because the sea is, is down to the south. So we would be up here somewhere, right? Probably. All right. Let's see if we can find a pattern like the one we see up here. A pattern in the roads that is might be a little bit of a lost cause. I don't know if that's the actual meaning of lost cause. Sometimes I say things that I've just heard other people say without actually looking them up in the dictionary. Not not always a good idea. Uh, but I'll see if I what I can find up here. All right. So this is the uh, I guess this is the way that the the road will look on the map. Let's see if we can find a road that looks like that, and it bends to the south. Like this one does. Wow, not a lot of these houses are actually on the map, are they? It's gonna be a little hard when the map doesn't accurately correspond to what is in real life. Might be up here. This would be a perfect spot if it wasn't a university right around here. I need a, a place like that, but in an inhabited area. Not too bad. Kind of corresponds to what I'm seeing. 
In fact, is this the place? I don't think it is. But it's the best I've got so far. It would be a little bit further up here, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Half a minute. I will have... I will spend this these last 30 seconds, 20 seconds, seeing if I can't find a better place than the one I just put my pin in. But honestly, I think that is the best I'm going to be able to do. Which means that if it's not correct, you are going to have a chance of beating me. Which is always exciting. Nope, not, I'm not, I'm not going to get any closer. What is the actual location? Aha! It was in the north of Torshavn, like way more north than I was perhaps looking. And also, there wasn't a large road going across here like I thought there was. So I was actually looking for something that wasn't actually on the map. Which is what you get for making assumptions. But sometimes they do help though. Alright, that was a good first round. There's definitely room for improvement, so uh, hopefully you guys can get closer than I did. Let's go to the next round and just see how it goes. Hopefully we get houses and coastline. Let's turn around. Ooh, well we get water, which which helps. And look at that. There's the coast. Okay, so looks like we're in a town with a fjord. Um, and some interesting mountain formations. I don't know if these if these mountains meet up or if there's water between them. It doesn't seem like there's water between them, but it seems like we do have a fjord, do have a small settlement. We do also have a town or a town or street name, Nidri Ituni. Uh, none of those might be the town name. Uh, in fact, they're probably not, but we could definitely look for that street. Oh, here's another street. Svördsvördsvördsvis vegur. Okay, we could definitely look for those. Um, so, this stream is coming from the west. The uh, fjord is to the east, and uh, that's what we have to go off of. Oh, so let's have a look on the map. See if we can find a really small settlement. It's what it seems like this is. Somewhere. Oh, where do we go? Somewhere in the Faroe Islands. So I'm going to look for a fjord going north-south, which is maybe going to be one of these ones up here. I mean, there's a good chance. What do we got here? Depil, cottage and Depil. There's nothing on the map right there, which doesn't seem like it's a good start to try and look there. Trollanes. It's probably not there. Seems a little bit far out on an island with no roads going to it. I think this is going to be this place that we're at is going to be connected with the road network network. So something like Halson might be better. I do realize that there's a stream right here where I'm standing, but that might not be on the map. Not a lot of things are on the map in uh, Far the Faroe Islands is the thing I am learning. All right, so let's have a zoom out. Let's actually look for spots that match the description of the one we're at right now, like this one. Nidri Ituni, and that's all I need. I believe that I found the place. What was this called? Svervis Vegur. I mean, it's not on here. Well, it's because we are up here. Okay, actually, it's good I looked for that one. I was about to say, like, that road is not on the map, uh, but I don't care, I'm gonna put it there. No, actually, it was on the map, so it's good. That I had another a second thought and had another look around, double checked. All right, so that is almost definitely the right place. Let's let's just guess and see if we weren't five thousand points. Oh, that's a five thousand point guess. That was a little bit easier than the first location I got. Let's hope that the third location is going to be more of that. Ooh, and it looks like it is. We've got both road names. Fjellskotta got Fjellskotta and Jugvara Vegul. And we've got water. I thought we might have water down there. And this coastline is. Ooh, wow. This coastline is real visible. This will surely be, be useful. I think we've got another 5,000 points in our hand. So this is a lake, which must. It's, it's large enough that it must be on the map. I don't know if. You know, this heavenly light over here is the sea reflecting the sun back at us. It probably is. But 
I mean, just the lake and this fjord right here is probably gonna be enough. What is the best, uh, the best course of action right now? Okay, we're looking north, so the fjord goes to the east, and then there's this lake. This lake will actually probably be probably be the best thing to just start looking at. I know there's a lake over here. Is this it? You know, this is probably it. This is Midvagur, or Milvo as we call it in Danish. I have done a little bit of genealogy for one of my friends who had um, who had ancestry from this town. So that's pretty interesting. Fjallsgota. Uh, is, isn't that just right up here? I don't know, it might be harder. And might not actually be this location, is it? Huh. This lake actually doesn't seem large enough to be this one. So maybe we maybe we gotta move on, maybe we gotta look for more lakes. I don't wanna get anchored to that one location. Maybe it's not actually that. There's a good chance. And I don't want to get tricked by this, because this really does seem like it should be one that I get 5,000 points on. So, three more minutes. I'm going to start looking again. Hopefully get the exact location. Just looking for lakes right now. It's not Torsound, is it? No, it's not. But it might be on one of these southern islands. Just might. Like right here, this seems all right. Fjallskatta and what is that? Gugvara Vegur. That seems like, if I remember correctly, these exact two roads: Gugvara Vegur and Fjallskatta. So I'm right where they meet. Hopefully, there are no more than one location <laughs> with these two roads meeting in the Faroe Islands. Let's guess. And we were 14 meters off. But honestly, I don't care, that's 5,000 points. Get in, as the Geo Wizard would say, my idol. Next round, please. All right, so what do we got here? Snow, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen snow on the Faroe Islands before in this game, or in real life, I've never been. Um, so what do we got here? It's a little bit of a harder location, even though what, we, what we've got here is a larger road, it seems. So hopefully this road is gonna be one of the first ones to show up when I start zooming in on the map. See, we've, it's, we've got like what seems like water, open sea out there, and a smaller settlement with a fjord going into it uh, up here to the north. All right, so that settlement is to the north, or the road is going north, the settlement is to the north east of us, and that fjord is going just east, or southeast actually out of here. So let's zoom into the Faroe Islands once more and see if we can find a fjord going southeast out of here. This looks like some something that could be correct and there's a road going into it but from this road we should also be able to see another a different fjord behind here which we might be we might be able to if we just cross this hill so is this the right location though? It, it could, it could well be. Let's see, if we place ourselves here, we've got a road going north, and it's bending as it gets to here, which might be this location, then it seems to come back around, which this does, kind of. There's a little, little tiny inlet there. Is that this? I'm, this might be the, this might be a totally wrong location, but honestly, it seems better and better the more I look at it. Look here, we've got a little little piece of land, a little pier or whatever, going out. That's that. Yeah, yeah. And that's about where the houses stop, which is also corresponds perfectly to the houses and the road on here. Honestly, I think, I think we've got the place. There's a large white building right there. Which could be this church right here. And yeah, no, this gets better and better. Let's see if we can find the exact location on the road where we're at. Just assuming that this is the correct location. We can line 
this little inlet or whatever it is up to the end of that piece of land over there that's, that juts out. Lining those up, we get that we are about where I put the pin in actuality. So anything else I can use to pinpoint this location, honestly, it seems like I'll just have to make a wild guess. I mean, I could look directly north and down, line the compass up to be north, and just look down and see the exact curvature of the road where I'm at. That seems to line up. On the map, there's a small cabin over here, but I, I believe that might be behind this hill, so that's not gonna help. All right, that's enough fine-tuning, let's just guess. We're 43 meters off, so that's not 5,000 points. Oh, that's heartbreaking. But we did find the location pretty quickly, uh, but just not the exact one. So, eh, all right, you'll you'll have to try and do better. I mean, that's, that's one of the ones where you have a chance to beat me. Um, so, I don't care, I don't mind. I'm trying to make this fun and quick and snappy. So let's just move on to the next round, which is gonna be the final location. And this might be the hardest one yet. What do we got? We've got a stream coming down a mountain, which might not be on the map. There's the stream, there's definitely a stream though. We've got a stream right right where I'm standing, coming out the mountain from 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 up here. What is this place? We've got a road that we're on that ends right here. So if we can find this exact road, if it's on the map, we could find the endpoint and well that's that's actually our location pinpointed. We've got some wanderers and a trail over here. What looks like tire marks, so maybe the road doesn't actually end, I don't know. And a dam? What, what is this? I don't even know. Might be a dam. Um, so we're down here we've got a town and that's actually just like the, that's the best hint I've got. All the water runs down here, so there might be a fjord. Where would that fjord be? There, there's mountains all around this town. So the fjord would have to be behind this mountain right here, down there. And well, since most cities or towns or settlements in the Faroe Islands are by the sea or a fjord, I'm just gonna guess that, that there's a fjord down there going, is that gonna be going west? Okay, how many fjords go west in, in the Faroe Islands? Here is, well, here is a location. This is certainly a location. We've got a fjord going west from Sörvakur. This is another location where my friend has ancestry from. We've got a stream going north, which, well, admittedly ends right here, but maybe there, maybe there are smaller streams that add to it, right? Well, there's not actually a lake here, is there? But there might just be one up there. This could be a dam with a lake behind it. Just a tiny dam. Let's guess, <laughs> since I don't think I'll find a better located location than this, a better guess, let's have a guess that we're right here where the trail begins. Does seem like we are, right? And then there's a road that goes up here or maybe up here. Maybe the road continues in one of those directions, sure. I, I could buy that, and then this up here is the lake that is on the map. I mean, it's as good a, a guess as any. In fact, I would say this is a pretty solid guess. There's nothing to confirm it though, like, I don't really have enough to be entirely sure. But even though I've got two minutes left to go off, or to go on, like, I don't think I'm gonna find a better suited guess than this. So let's have a guess and hope that we're in fact in the correct location. And would you look at that, 5,000 points. I, I, will, I will say it, I'm very proud of that. And I'm very impressed with any of you that could get as many points on that one, this specific round as I did. Cause wow, that was a combination of luck and good assumptions. You know, you, you see, I would have never found this place if I hadn't assumed that there was a fjord going west from here. And there was, and I found the stream and all was happy in the end. 
what a nice way to celebrate the new year here on the Hamfrax channel. Um, now, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're a Danish person watching these and you enjoy it, do remember that I have a Danish channel where I uh, pretty much exclusively play GeoGuessr, as, at least up until this point, it might change in the future, but right now, that is there for you to watch if you're so inclined. I mostly do Danish stuff on there. Uh, it's stuff to do with Denmark and in Danish, that is. All right, so with that uh, little ad out of the way, that has been Hamfrags playing Faroe Island GeoGuessr 2 with, with moderate success. Actually, I'd say better than moderate. That was, that was very good, except for the first, second round. I don't actually remember anymore. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video with Hamfrags playing GeoGuessr, do remember that that's great. Have a nice day, and bye-bye.